Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about Armageddon Part 5. We have an official synopsis for the episode and also we're going to be going over Episode 3's new photos. So we have a lot to break down so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So Armageddon Part 3 is coming up. It is this Tuesday, so in two days time, very excited to see what goes down because episode two was huge. I'm sure you guys have still been thinking about last week's episode because I have and we talked about it on the stream and on Eric's after party. There's a lot of theories that people have come up with after watching the episode, so obviously people have been talking about it and it's all on their minds and so part three is going to pay off some of that. And obviously it isn't going to be like the official conclusion because we still have two more episodes. So that's two extra weeks after this week. So we're going to be going over that synopsis for episode 5, aka the finale, the final concluding chapter of the Flash's Armageddon event. But first things first, we're going to break down some photos that they've just released for episode 3 this week because it's very pressing in terms of time. Obviously it's coming up very, very soon. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get into these photos. So the first photo we have is inside the Hall of Justice. In fact, most of the photos that we have been given are inside that place. And so Barry is here. He is with Jefferson. And it seems like they are working on some sort of device. Maybe so they stop Barry's blackouts. I would presume that is what they're doing. And so he has like, you know, a microscope. And I don't know what it's specifically there for. But they are talking and they're obviously working out a plan of how to move forward. But it seems Despero gets wind of their plans. As in the next photo, here he is inside the Hall of Justice and he is screaming and using his powers. It seems that he definitely comes and attacks them and that's the shot in the trailer where Black Lightning used his lightning as he tries to take down Despero who has just attacked both of them. And so it's not just them at the Hall of Justice. In fact, Iris shows up in the next photo with none other than Dion. Obviously, the Steel Force, he is back because of his connection to Iris. It's been referenced that he would be coming back even in the first episode of Armageddon, it was mentioned. And Eric Wallace over the summer was talking about the fact that we're going to be dealing with Iris's supposed time sickness for most of the season and obviously that means the return of Dion because he is completely linked to Iris in terms of this story and so Black Lightning is next to them and you know it's a cool shot I like this photo and so Barry meets Dion once again and Iris and obviously Dion and Iris are together maybe Iris has been suffering some more of the time sickness and that's why Dion has shown up again and so Barry is talking to him and then in the next photo Barry gets attacked by Despero you can see some of the Hall of Justice is all in shatters like some of the glass I don't know if this is like Green Arrow's costume and a bunch of things are thrown on the ground but as Despero strangles Barry it's kind of weird to see Dion and Iris just standing back there it seems like Iris is trying to talk to Despero as Barry's getting strangled you would have thought they would have gone in and like tried to stop him but maybe it's something to do with Iris's time sickness meaning that she can't attack or like Dion can't attack. I'm sure they'll come up with some reason for why Barry has to suffer. Okay, let's move on to the next photo. We got this photo of Barry. He's standing in front of the American flag in the Hall of Justice. Obviously, this is just very cool. Normally, you would have like the whole Justice League as we did get at the end of a couple of crossovers. And so we got this next photo of Barry. He's standing here. His fists are clenched, he's ready to fight Despero in the Hall of Justice. Green Arrow's costume is in the background. Okay, let's move on from here. We got a couple of photos of Black Lightning and Barry as they talk. Again, I don't know what specific points it is in the episode. It seems like this is all from one scene. Probably very early on because that is where we left Barry and Jefferson off where they were talking in the Hall of Justice and Barry says injustice. The final photo that we have is this. The Flash and Black Lightning stand in front of all the Justice League members chairs. And I just wanted to bring this up because of the fact that there is literally none of the other heroes. Like you can see Supergirl's crest and you can see Superman's crest, the House of Val. 
but no one is there and obviously they haven't referenced to why Superman can't show up. But we know Supergirl is off world, that is their explanation for why she's not here. Nevertheless, it's kind of sad to see the Hall of Justice completely empty considering that they just formed basically the Arrowverse's version of the Justice League in the last crossover. Obviously, that was Crisis on Infinite Earths. So that's about it in regards to episode three and the photos. Let's move on to the finale synopsis. Now, this is very exciting. Let's go ahead and read it. So this is the episode part five of Armageddon that comes out on December 14th on the CW. And it goes like this. The exciting conclusion to the five-part Armageddon event brings the return of Mia Queen. The conclusion to Armageddon presents an opportunity for The Flash to end his lifelong battle with Reverse Flash, played by guest star Tom Kavanagh, for good. But the payoff could be too much for Barry and team to handle. Meanwhile, Mia Queen drops in from the future looking to save a lost loved one, and she won't let anything stand in her way. Let's go ahead and break this down. So, the Armageddon event brings the return of Mia Queen. The last time we saw Mia was in the backdoor pilot and Crisis on Infinite Earths with the ending of Arrow. Obviously, they tried to set up a new series, however, that never went ahead, and you're going to be getting some sort of concluding chapter to Mia's story and the Green Arrow and the Canary story in Armageddon and I think this is a great way to kind of conclude that because they teased something that was due to happen and if we go over to the synopsis we can break it down and interpret what they mean and so they say meanwhile Mia Queen drops in from the future looking to save a lost loved one and she won't let anything stand in her way so if you remember what happened William Mia's brother was in fact kidnapped and it was teased that they would be going to save him now here they're talking about a lost loved one that she's looking to save of course it's going to be William so do you think that a surprise cameo is going to be William I think it's very damn likely especially considering the connection and the way that they want to wrap up that green arrow and the canary story and what they set up so I'm very pleased to hear this that she's not just coming for the sake of coming, she actually has like a proper mission, which is the reason that she drops in from the future. So do you guys have any other theories? I feel like it's pretty safe to assume this lost loved one is definitely William. Let's go to the start of the synopsis. Now, this is very, very intriguing. So the conclusion to Armageddon presents an opportunity for the Flash to end his lifelong battle with none other than the reverse Flash for good but the payoff could be too much for barry and team to handle now the obvious answer to this is this is the night where it all happens this is the final battle with reverse flash because he would be sending him back in time reverse flash would be going back on the same course that he would be doing and he would essentially be stuck in a loop therefore he shouldn't be able to come back in the future and maybe that is the way that they figure, oh, we can finally stop Reverse Flash. However, it is more than likely going to be the death of Barry's mum, Nora Allen. That is probably the highest stakes that Barry could have, considering it's such a big moment that has impacted his life. And he's said it many times, and I mean, it's pretty damn clear that this is the defining act that shaped the way that his life went. And so by ending his lifelong battle with Reverse Flash, it would make more than enough sense for it to be that night that they go back to to end their battle once and for all. So I definitely feel it has something to do with timeline changes and time travel considering we're talking about Barry and Thorn facing off against each other and pretty much most of the time when they face off against each other there is always some sort of alteration to the timeline or they time travel. I mean just look at Flashpoint, that is heavily reverse Flash and Barry and then also the first incident where Barry's mom was killed, that was them traveling back in time, having this huge fight, and even the newspaper which is supposedly talking about that night. We talked about this in another video the other day, the idea that we have a new version of Green Arrow, we have new versions of the Atom and other characters which were teased in that Crisis newspaper. So what happens if that Crisis newspaper wasn't in fact referencing Crisis on Infinite Earths, but a later crisis, which is set to happen at the end of Armageddon. So 
I feel pretty strongly that there's going to be some big changes in regards to the timeline, especially once Armageddon ends. There is a chance that everything resets and it goes back to normal. However, there will be big implications because every time we change stuff back to supposedly the way it was before, there's always a knock-on effect. Something has definitely changed and I'm pretty sure we're going to explore that change or those changes throughout the rest of this season because Armageddon is said to be not just like a one-off event, it's said to start season eight and kind of create the stories by setting seeds for what's to come. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any videos, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.